Look at me, just sat here on me own like, drinking brandy in dark. Almost feels like there's two fucking extra people living here like. The electric's going down way too fast. Least that bearded twat and that faggot tranny next door gone. I wish my son didn't go off to Iraq and get killed. I should have just fucking provided for you like a good daddy. Son, was that you? Are you all in your daddy, son? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, son. I'd do anything just to have your back, like. You fucks. You absolute fuckers. We give you, like, almost two years worth of content and now you're gonna get on our asses about fucking rust and how we don't ever debunk rust. I'll, tr I'll show you how to treat rust. You know when I get this angry? I just really want to eat Mr. Ephraim's chicken. Alright. We'll give you rust. See this? It's a rusty ass bucket, that. Get a bit, a bit, bit of WD-40 on it. Done. Oh, what's this? Well, this is a cat. Are you happy now? <sighs> it's one fucking cute little kitty, that. Hi, everybody. It's me, your boy, Roy. And the Lacey. And now it's, it's time, time to, to talk, talk about... Bearing. So here's a question. Who loves bearing? <laughs> All right, and how many of you out there love your girl, Christy Winters? She just got his Twitter permanently suspended. Well, if you don't violate the rules, you can't be reported. It, there's a cause and effect here, you know, so you can say, oh, Christy, you shouldn't have reported him, but Twitter gives us tools to report harassment, and this has been a sustained ongoing, sexually demeaning harassment campaign that he's been running on YouTube and using Twitter to support. Yeah, I mean, she reported his account because he refers to her as Fisty Splinters, which Twitter have agreed is a sexual slur. So guys, fuck you. How about we all stop sexually harassing Christy Winters, okay? I want to make a proposition. Let's drop that horrible handle that we all fucking degrade her with. And let's call her something else instead. Something absolutely non-sexual. What would that be, darling? Bitchy squinters. Fits perfectly. Dash just racist. I don't think she's a Chinese. I mean, her eyes do look like Death Star trenches. And she does blow up Twitter accounts with a laser of death. So, now we know that they take this kind of targeted sexual harassment very seriously. Oh yeah. I mean, I bet they'd hate the fucking SJW diss track that we did. I mean, if they think calling Christy Winters fisty splinters is sexual harassment, imagine the reaction if they got a load of what we said. It's haunting. The daunting thought of putting your fist in like a piston in Miss Christy Winters. Ew. A misty pussy full of splinters. Sawdust a bear trap and the eyes are squinters. A petty academic. So please don't debate her. Saga walked again. Bet he wouldn't even rape her. I think... Completely changed the topic because it just popped into my mind. Are you the guy that did the the fucking SJW rap video thing? No, I think he's thinking of Roy and Lacey. What have we done? They're gonna label us as sexy monsters. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. So, Kevin, what's your review on this video? That because I've not even seen the video. <gasps> oh God, Lacey, we might as well kiss our YouTube page and our Twitter's goodbye, Milado. He's clearly going to demonize us and label us as sexual harassers. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It was quite, yeah, it was quite funny. Oh. He, he liked it? Now we know that Kevin Logan agrees with Christy Winters. The Baron referring to her as Fisty Splinters is targeted sexual harassment. He said some absolutely appalling things. He's a fucking horrible individual. However, we made a song where we literally said, putting your fist in, like a piston, in Miss Christy Winters. Yeah, and he's uh, fine with that. We quite graphically spoke about putting a fist 
in Christy Winter's splinter-laden pussy. Quite funny. When we did it, it was funny. Yeah. However, when Baring, who most people find very comedic, mm -hmm. does it, it's not okay? Well, I mean, if humour is the deciding factor between what makes what we did not sexual harassment and what Baring did sexual harassment, I think that's a terrible argument to make because humour is subjective. Humour is not some art form that he's mastered. I think he should change his username to lying instead of bearing. Like, the only reason his name is bearing is because we have to bear with so much of his bullshit. Well, maybe it's because he constantly makes videos about her. Yeah, I mean, that's a terrible argument also, because Christy Winters makes more content on Bearing than Bearing does on her. So surely, if she's going to accuse him of waging a campaign of sexual harassment against her, then Bearing can accuse her of waging a general campaign of harassment against him. You know why what we did was funny and what Bearing did was targeted sexual harassment? Because Christy Winters fucking hates Bearing. Mm -hmm. So sure, he technically broke the terms of service and you reported him, and he got suspended. You know, it doesn't make that any worse than what you do, though. You're pretty nasty to Baron yourself. You're obsessed with the man. I mean, I seem to remember waking up one day with a DM from you uh, saying Baron's a liar. I was confused as to why you DM me, and then I realized you were just that petty. You'll literally go door to door to people that are associated with him. Like, you think he's going around and messaging random SJWs, like, you know Chrissy's a cunt, right? Um, you're kind of a cunt. But we didn't want to just come on here and talk about Christy Winters without giving her a chance to defend herself. So we got in contact with Christy Winters about this latest palaver and she agreed to do a Google Hangout with me. Alright guys, first have me on. Christy Winters it. Christy. Christy. So yeah, Baron, it sucks, man, about your Twitter, but I'm sure before long you'll either get that account back or you'll have a new account that'll gain tens of thousands of followers rapidly. What's that sound? Oh. I just need to see little dead Jacob's room one last time. But I can't. I said I'd leave it how it was after he left. I don't want to desecrate his memory anymore. <laughs> Fucking ragheads, man. <sighs> and then, and then they filmed it. They beheaded my son. They beheaded Jacob, and they filmed it and uploaded it to YouTube. <laughs> and I watched the video. I watched the video, and for some fucking reason, it's still monetized. Why is my dead son Jacob being fucking beheaded still monetized on YouTube? What's up with that fucking algorithm? I love you, Jacob. I love you so fucking much, Jacob. It's all my fault. Oh my god, Jacob. I love you so much, son. I'm sorry about that fucking time that I walked in on you when you were wanking your weenie off. <laughs>